On today's craft, we're doing some farmhouse window treatments. Cause my wife told me I had to. I don't know nothing about no curtains, but we fixing to figure it out. So stick around. My wife's been wanting some farmhouse window treatments and we've been looking at them and I think I got it figured out. So let's quit wasting time and let's get into this. All right, so first thing you need to do is measure our window. It's like it's about 35 inches. This one is 37 inches. Here's the piece of wood we're gonna use. It's just a one by six, which is planed, which makes it three quarters of an inch by five and a half inches wide. So we're gonna leave the whole thickness, the five and a half inches, and we gotta cut it down to the size of our windows. One window's 35 inches, one window's 37 inches. Look, if you ain't got a saw, don't limit yourself by that. You can use a hand saw, you can use a jigsaw, you can even use a handheld circular saw. I mean, there's a lot of ways to cut wood. You don't have to have fancy equipment. I'm using early American stain, and I'm gonna stain these, I'm gonna use a rag, and then we'll probably scuff them up or something and make them look more antique. Okay, I got my board stained, got it cut. It's 39 inches long, and that window was 37 inches wide from the outside of the molding to the outside of the molding. Now, we're gonna start our hooks one inch in. That way it'll line up with the molding, and we're gonna put it three inches from the bottom, from the bottom of this board to the bottom of the hook. All I'm doing is I'm using this measurement. I'm putting it an inch from the top and these are the marks where the hooks go. You slide the hook up against it centered. And then I'm taking a small screwdriver and just using it like an awl, poking me a hole. And it makes your screw start in easier. <laughs> want to make this look more rustic you can knock some places down like you can even make the whites a little bit wider just by sanding a little bit off here and there or if you see a spot you don't like you can sand it it's just going to add to the old look of it You're not going to hurt nothing or you can sand the edge a little bit take some of the stain off make it look more you can sand the corners. You get the idea. Sometimes you just gotta beat things up, make it look old. So we got all our hooks on. I guess the only thing left to do now is go hang these things up. Okay, so I pre-started my screws on both ends. Now I'm gonna hang it up. The reason I put the screw right under these hooks is so the curtains will cover it up when it's done. Got the first curtain up. Now we're gonna hang the second curtain up. Now I guess you're gonna pull one of them back one way and one the other. I'll let my wife do that. 
I'll let my wife do that. We put some hooks on the side of the window on each side and we took some old rope we got at tractor supply it looks like the old hemp rope and we just tied a knot in it to hold the curtains tie backs or whatever you call them Basically, you just hang two panels up on the same hooks and then you split it apart and hang them separately. I think it looks pretty good actually. Looks good to me. My wife better like it. Well, those things turned out pretty awesome. If you hadn't yet, you need to click that subscribe button and click that bell button too so you'll know when we post videos and youtube will send you a notification it's free and a lot of you guys watching may be from my other channel fishing and stuff and if you are you still need to subscribe because i'm gonna be building some cool stuff on here that's not fishing related but it's still awesome so don't forget to subscribe and i appreciate you watching and i'll see you on the next build